can't respect and communicate well and teach kids to. Uh, and then they can be turned into rioters and looters and attack people and bother people and mess people up and then destroy things and destroy where we live and so on. Well, that's why I recommend the same thing. You know, just keep a newspaper with you or something. When they're worked up bothering people, and you don't pay attention to them, and you don't blame them, bother them, embarrass them, or you don't bother anybody else, then the other people around can see that and go, oh, okay, it's safe to be nice to you. Say, hey, you're nice. You're a nice person. Just ignore that person bothering people. You're not bothering people. Okay, cool. I can actually look at you. Otherwise, people are acting too sketchy. They can't look at people, and people can't look at them. They kind of just act sketchy and look away from you in case you act sketchy too. And then just people bother each other and run away all day. So that's all. So since I was a kid in Toronto, this is what we did. You look down, look at your newspaper, looked away, happy they're gone, have a nice day. You know, all the other polite Canadians in the subway that aren't bothering people, aren't paying attention to people bothering people. They look, you look at each other, smile, shrug, eh, happens, right? You know, hopefully they can stop, obviously. Right? And so don't take it personally. They'll attack all the polite Canadians where you are, right? They'll attack all the people minding their business, all the people being nice, looking at, talking to, listening to people, getting like they'll bother them all. And that's what we did since I was a kid in Toronto. You just look down, look at your newspaper, look away, let them finish spazzing out, running around the whole subway, and happy they're gone like everyone else. Have a nice day. Right? So. <clears throat> well, that's all. You can tell, people know. Like I said, everywhere I go, in the last few years, you know, work, shopping, friends, everybody knows. It's like, oh, it's got you bothering you for no reason. No, it's been all right. Oh, okay, cool. So you're not going to bother him, you don't care. Not be their guy and have a nice day. So, how you doing? So you try and show them, get respect. Oh, people can't really look at each other. They can't look at people's faces. They can't know how people feel. People can't tell how they feel. Um, and they don't care how you feel. They want to bother you. They don't care how they feel. They bother you. They bother them too, right? So. The polite Canadians they can, can, uh, can politely ignore it and, uh, and help people stop. And say polite Canadians who can teach kids to be. And then you have a nice place to live with nice people. And the poor sketchy person bothering strangers and running away since I was a kid, that's what we did. And they always liked it. Politely ignored, not blamed, bothered, embarrassed. Want to stop. So, can't get along with the other polite Canadians or polite Canadian homeless or mentally ill people or whoever they know. And so they spend their day bothering strangers and running away. Oh, okay, nice people in the world. World famous, nice, polite Canadian. Not really this color, that color, or, you know. You know. Just mind your business. No, it's okay. So, because I don't do that, I see the sort of percentages. It might be 50% across Canada who might just be doing it fashionably, because what else you gonna do with somebody doing that to you and then you can't do much with each other. You bother strangers and run away. But, uh, but probably aren't into it and can still show and get respect. In Toronto, it's a little lower than that because it's more of a concentrated city, more concentrated comedy zombie brainwashing, more radical leftist ideas, you know, attacking everything. So, but it's something like that. Right? Since I was a kid, they always like just being politely ignored. You know, it's better than being uh, blamed, you know, and they can't help it and they can't explain what they're doing. It's better than being bothered. Nobody likes being bothered like that. That's why they bother strangers and run away, because when you bother people like that, it's very insulting, right? If it's your wife or girlfriend worked up, not explaining why, what do you can say, hey, what's wrong on here, or whatever. But if it's not, it doesn't make any sense. You can't really do anything with them. And so they don't like being blamed. Nobody likes being bothered like that. And they don't like being embarrassed. If you look at it and go, ew, yuck, gross. You know, no wonder it's hard to force people to put up with this. Yuck, gross. Right? So you just politely ignore them. You know, it's like the poor, sketchy, crazy, homeless person hitting themselves in the head. You don't look at it and go, yeah, yeah. Just politely ignore it. Happy they're gone. Have a nice day. So, so here we are, just walking north of Young in College, or uh, College and University, excuse me, North of College University, towards the anti-lockdown rally. And here you'll get a much higher percentage of the polite patriots who take themselves, each other, and where they live seriously. And uh, like I said, if, if half the polite Canadians who can still do it can politely ignore the, the half being turned to zombies and then rioters and looters and so on. Uh, you know, uh, bothering each other and then can't do much with each other, bothering strangers, trying to make them zombies and rioters and looters, then, uh, then, then, you know, we can probably save Canada. Nice place to live with nice people. Right? So. Thank you. 
So here is a sample of the Great Canadian House Party. Let's do another time check here. It is 12.22 p.m. Saturday, June 6th, 2020. How you doing, Josh? What's up? Um, see how people are still showing get respect like that, can, can communicate well and do stuff for the country. Let's go take a look and you'll compare what was going on on the way here to what's going on here and how, uh, you know, it's, it's a different vibe. Right? So that's the idea. So, how you doing? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, let's do some of that. Again, just quietly ignore it. Hopefully they stop. Keep your self-respect for next time or next person. And, uh, and so on. That's, that's what we could do all across Canada. Right? So, how you doing? The, the, the half of Canadians that still can, can, uh, can stop the other half from getting all messed up. Making smiles since I was a kid. It's confident masculine strength, confident feminine vulnerability, as opposed to the gender neutral, root sketchy, zombie, rioter, looter stuff. Hello. Polite mm -hmm. young man, not trying to force me to put up with him, not trying to, you know, not trying to force the vote with me, blah, 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 blah. How you doing? So, yeah, if the half the Canadians can do that, then I uh, should be good. We can stop the globalist, communist, rioter takeover. Uh, you know, uh, going on. There's some people over there trying to reach out to uh, to cars and so on. So again, just politely ignore it. What we did since I was a kid. Happy they're gone. Have a nice day. You know, okay, like everybody else in the subway or wherever you are. And uh, otherwise, then Canadians are really nice. They're not doing that, so. Cute girl on a bike, what's up, what's up? Glad to breathe cops over there, just chilling in the shade. So. Just for this demonstration. How you doing? Yeah, how you doing, brother? Cops over there. So, hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? So that's an example of the Great Canadian House Party, right? If you compared, excuse me, um, the walk up here from Church and Carlton. All the kind of divided and conquered, kind of the globalist commie zombie stuff. Also some nice people, obviously. The Canadians are super nice when you're not bothering each other for no reason. Um, but if you compare the, the vibe out there to the vibe here, you can see that we are proud, polite, patriotic Canadians that most want to see and be. There are a couple exceptions on the fence who can be chilled out by the rest uh, in environments like this. And the same thing can happen all across Canada. Then we won't be turned into zombies, and then we're easy to control, can't communicate well and then turn into rioters and looters and people who bother people, attack people, destroy things and, you know, uh, are, are sort of herded into more and more zombification. You have to do this, you have to kneel before this, you can say this, you can't say that, using different uh, minority or interest groups to attack the majority and then screw up the whole place, backed by central banksters, getting big corporations to do their bidding, right? So we can avoid the globalist communist takeover if we can save proud, polite, patriotic Canadians uh, who, who are nice people, who have a nice place to live and want to save it, as opposed to the sort of selfish, self-absorbed, kind of rude, sketchy, commie zombie, uh, bothers you too, bother them, can't do much, bother strangers and run away all day trying to make more zombies, right? So that's the issue. Um, yeah! There you go, an example of, uh, of some of the supporters. Well, it's a pretty chilled out vibe. So instead of agreeing to, 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 to you know, to tax on polite Canadians, 
or to work with somebody else to attack polite Canadians, people minding their business, people being nice, looking at, talking to each other, tricking them into looking at stressful, confusing, unpleasant, you know, spazzing or whatever, like a monkey shot by a taser or whatever. Um, if you politely ignore it, people you know are with strangers, keep your self-respect for the next time. If they can't stop, then you hang out with them later, they don't bother you, you don't resent them, you don't bother them, they don't resent you. Um, and then, um, or for the next person you get along with, so you're not a mess, you know, avoid the person in line. And then you get to the cashier and they're like, okay, we, we ignored them, you're not bothering people. Okay, we can respect each other, we can be cool, right? So, um, so that's important. So, so there you go. And uh, and then you can, uh, yeah, you can save Blake Canadians, you can save Canada. How you doing, boss? How are you? Not Say too hello. Bad. Say hello. You're live right now on YouTube. I am. How you doing? BK from ManForWars.com here with Stenj. And uh, at the uh, June 6, 2020, uh, Toronto anti-lockdown protest or rally or the Great Canadian House Party. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for being here, man. Thanks for documenting this. Thank you for being here too. I've just got here myself. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. You're just saying, most people are staying in uh, the shade for now. But uh, best thing to do is keep out of the sunlight until the main event starts. So you're doing a little bit of filming yourself, I see. I am, man. I'm trying to capture the house party vibe. Um, to make sure people know this is not like a protest in the way that protests are often branded on TV. It's like a house party. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's mean, like if we had a happy Canada Day celebration in Toronto, it would look something like this. There's a lot of good vibes here, and you can hear the cars honking and people cheering. You know, nobody is angry. Yeah. That is what we need. Peaceful protest, the right to assembly. And this is more of a gathering and a social event for the people that come here each week. We've become friends since yep. I've been coming here. We've been acquainted and yep. I've met much more 